Just when I thought I saw the worst documentation over at Shopify, I took a look at the Facebook Graph API documentation. And I might have been a little bit too harsh in the intro because I could have just read it correctly, but I, it took me way longer than it should have to find out how to get um, hashtags from the Graph API, right? And that's what I want to show you right now. And what I want to show you is within the Graph API Explorer from Facebook. So I will show this on the HTTP level. You will have to implement it to yourself into your app. If you want to see how to work with the JavaScript SDK and Facebook also offers a PHP SDK. If you want to see a tutorial on that, then write it in the comments below and I will record something about that. The prerequisites are a setup developer account. You also have to have a registered app and you will have to make sure that all of the access rights are set up in your app. And to take a look if the access rights are there, you will have to take a look at the right hand side of the Graph API Explorer. And unfortunately it's all in German. I will have to change this to English, but you will have to make sure that one of the access rights is Instagram basic. And if you don't have that here, for example, let me, deleted, then you will have to add another access token, say Instagram basic, select it, press enter, and then you'll have it in the list. You will also have to make sure to have the Instagram public content access available. And you can take a look if you have that, if you have access to that, if you go to click, if you go to my apps, And if you're here, then you can click app review, click features. And if you scroll down that list, then you will see Instagram public content access and you will have the standard access. And that's enough just to retrieve the Instagram hashtags, right? So I'm gonna close that tab right here. And if you take a look at the documentation, from Facebook right here, where they tell you how to get the hashtags from the API. Then they tell you to go to this route, IG hashtag search, and just enter your user ID and the query for your hashtag. What I thought what I had to do is go to the Graph API Explorer and just search for the fields ID and name. Oh, let me just first generate an access token because the old one was invalid. Sometimes you just have to regenerate an access token. So if you click send, and then you would get this ID right here. And I thought that you would have to enter this ID into this request right here. But when I did that, let me just open up another Graph API Explorer. So when I did that, with this ID. Then I always got this error right here that I didn't have the correct user ID. That is because I entered the wrong user ID. Now let me show you which would be the correct way to do it. You don't have to query for ID and name, but you would have to add a field and that field is called accounts. And within that accounts field, there is this Instagram business account field. And you will have to query for that. Let me send it. And now you would get an ID down here. And now you can query the hashtag with this ID. Let me send it. I've just pasted the ID. And now I get the ID for the hashtag Coke which is what we want, obviously. So that's the way it works. It's really just a minor change, but it took me too long to find that out, right? And maybe it helped you too. And if it did, then click the like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.